What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And during this weekend's beta, we got a look at the new mode, Operation Dirty Bomb. Now, Operation Dirty Bomb is a 40-player mode. We have two maps available here during the beta. And I kind of want to just give you my initial thoughts of the mode. It kind of reminds me of somewhat like Plunder in Warzone. Uh, the concept is, of course, you know, you can respawn. You don't have to worry about, you know, dying and being out like you would in, in uh, something like Battle Royale. Uh, of course, you can... You know, loot items, you can pick up items out of boxes, you can pick up armor. Uh, of course, everyone does have armor on, uh, you know, once you uh, equip it. So, you know, you're, it, it's not as fast killing as multiplayer would be. Um, you can revive teammates, you can find score streaks on the ground to use. And the whole kind of idea behind this is there's bombs scattered across the map. Once you kill an enemy or defeat an enemy or open up a box, you will find uranium in that box or on that defeated player. You take that uranium to these bombs, and once the bomb is full of uranium, then you can detonate it. The thing is, anyone can go put uranium in the bomb, any of the 40 players on the map. So it may not be just you and your team that's putting uranium on that bomb. So then the whole idea turns into everyone is fighting over that ability to be able to detonate that bomb. Once the bomb is detonated, it will put a cloud of, uh, of you know, toxic you know, kind of chemicals around that area. And if you stay in that area for too long, it will harm you. It's going to give you... Uh, slowed down kind of, you know, reactions. You know, you're not going to be able to move as fast. You're going to be bleeding out. Uh, it, it makes for pretty crazy gunfights inside that kind of gas area. So you definitely don't want to hang around in it too long. Uh, the score goes to 500. So the first team to 500 will win. So, of course, it's based on you getting kills and detonating these bombs is how you kind of get your score. Um, and it's pretty chaotic, in my opinion, when it gets down to one bomb on the map. You know, one bomb needs to be detonated in every team on the map all 40 players are fighting over this one area it gets to be pretty intense it is a pretty enjoyable mode i was actually surprised at how much i liked it because plunder is not bad i wasn't a massive fan of plunder i think this is a lot better than plunder in my opinion but there was one big issue yesterday i played three rounds and all three rounds i had some extreme frame rate drop it was absolutely crazy how bad the frame rate got at times it was almost like you were in slow motion like you were playing at five or ten frames it was horrible I'm not sure if that was just a PS4 issue. I'm assuming most everyone had that issue yesterday, even on Xbox and PC. So let me know if you've played uh, if you've played Dirty Bomb. Let me know if you were having issues with frame rate as well. But that was the worst part of it. Of course, Treyarch did say that they're going to fix some of that over the weekend, hopefully to get it running more smoothly. And if that's the case, if they can get this mode to you know run correctly. I think a lot of people are going to like it. It is pretty enjoyable. I really did enjoy the two maps we have available. And I was very surprised at how easy, easy it was to pick out enemies at range. Considering some of the 12v12 and 6v6 maps in regular multiplayer are very hard to pick up enemies at distances at times. This kind of reminds me of, uh, Dirty Bomb kind of reminds me of uh, Blackout. Where a lot of the stuff building wise, car wise, everything just around is brighter than the you know the rest of the map. So it's more bright. I guess more bright is not the word that I was looking for, but it's just a lot. It, buildings and things stand out compared to their surroundings, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. But it, it makes it to be where you can see enemies a lot better than I was expecting because some of the other maps have the issue where, you know, some of the regular multiplayer maps have that issue where it's like war, uh, or Modern Warfare, you know, where you're playing, you, you, you're getting shot, you really don't see the enemy because everything just blends together so well. Uh, Dirty Bomb did not really have that problem. You could see enemies pretty well. As long as they can get the connections worked out, I think this will be a pretty popular mode because it was very enjoyable because you're not having to stress about, you know, going in and dying, you know, and not being able to go back in the game like you would in Battle Royale. You get to go right back in, you know, you either can redeploy on your teammates, redeploy in the air. And of course, as you see there, if your entire squad wipes, it's a longer, uh, you know, kind of redeploy time. It's a pretty cool, pretty interesting idea for a new game mode. I'm kind of curious to see if they can get the connections working properly. I just kind of want to give you my initial impressions, what I thought of it. Uh, I did have a good time with it. I'm not sure if I'm sold on all the kill streaks and things you can pick up throughout the map. Some of them seem to be a little bit strong, but we'll kind of have to wait and see how that works out. But leave me a comment. Let me know if you've played Dirty Bomb yet. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, GT Racing, the Community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.